Hi everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been constructing fish farms for more than 10 years. In this video, I will tell you in detail about such an interesting fish as African catfish. I will tell about its distinguishing feature and peculiarities and how they influence the process of its commercial farming. Now we are at a fish farm where they are just farming African catfish. Let's start with the continent where it came from. Why is it African? Originally, it lived in Africa for thousands, millions of years, and this gradually adapted to these harsh conditions. Just imagine, open water reservoirs dry up completely, and at that time, it lives in the mud under the crust of this dried mud. Under such conditions, it has formed a special organ that many fish species do not have. It's clary. And that's why it's called claret catfish. It's an epibronchial organ that allows African catfish to breathe in atmospheric air. So there may be no oxygen in the water at all. It will just flow it up and breathe in air from the atmosphere. This is exactly what happens at all RAS catfish farms. Over millions of years of evolution, it has developed such a number of unique qualities that it can now be farmed on an industrial scale and with tremendous efficiency. When farming it, we just don't need an oxygen source or any equipment to saturate the water with pure oxygen. All we need is a high-quality water treatment, and the African catfish will grow even with zero oxygen in the water. In the 20th century, the Dutch paid attention to this fish. They are, in principle, pioneers in farming many species of fish on an industrial scale. In the 80s, they brought this fish to their country and started conducting experiments. They successfully obtained fry and implemented the technology of farming it. And in principle, until present moment, the culture of farming African catfish has been very strong in Holland. Let's now take a deeper look into the features of this fish that make it absolutely unique. The first is fish stock in density. African catfish can be farmed at the density of up to 400 kilograms per cubic meter. This relates to the industrial farming. Some experiments were conducted when African catfish was farmed at the density of up to 700 kilograms per cubic meter. But these are more experiments rather than accepted results. In comparison with sturgeon and trout, for example, this is five or even eight times higher, respectively, thus you need less area by exactly that same number of times in order to farm the same amount of African catfish. The second is the biomass gain rate. African catfish gains weight from a fry to a grow-out fish of 2 kilograms in about 6 months. For comparison, it's at least two times faster than sturgeon and trout. Thirdly, this fish practically never gets sick. The only thing that can kill it is low temperature. It's not recommended to farm catfish at temperature lower than 20 degrees, but the optimum temperature for its farming is 26 to 28 degrees. This is exactly the temperature which provides for its fastest growth and weight gain. If you lower the temperature below 15 degrees, as a rule, African catfish gets seriously ill and dies. It's also worth mentioning that at African catfish farms no disinfection needs to be provided for. Because if you maintain a normal water temperature and good water quality, the catfish in principle doesn't get sick. By the way, let me tell you an interesting fact why it doesn't get sick. In addition to the strong immunity, it has special mucus, and he is completely covered with mucus, which prevents the entry of any parasites, pathogens. So that African catfish has even two, so to say, layers of natural immunity, which was given to him by nature. The next special aspect is its resistance to ammonium nitrogen and nitrites. In general, at African catfish farms, the levels of ammonia and nitrates are three to five times higher than its sturgeon and trout ones. Catfish is quite tolerant to this kind of pollutants, so you can reduce the water recirculation rate and keep high farming densities, as I have mentioned before, up to 400 cubic kilograms per cubic meter. And you can only do one water exchange per hour, which cannot be applied to sturgeon and trout, because at the plant density, in principle, they won't survive at all. It would take three to five water exchanges per hour to maintain oxygen saturation and keep the balance of ammonia nitrogen. Now let's talk about how and what to feed the catfish with. Of course, in ponds during summertime, as I have mentioned before, fish farmers often feed it not only with extruded feed, but also with all kinds of so-called waste products, spread and so on. 
but this often leads to poor results, because then the quality of meat of such a catfish is quite poor. If we consider ras farming, the African catfish needs to be fed only with extruded feed. There are many world-known manufacturers which produce feed specifically for African catfish. One of his features is that it digests feed one-to-one. -one. This means that, on average, you only need to spend one kilogram of feed to grow one kilogram of African catfish total biomass. It sounds absurd, but consider the fact that feed is a dry substance containing almost no moisture. The body mass is almost 80% water, which is why 1 to 1 is normal feeding ratio. The maximum is probably 1.1, anything that is more results in non-optimal conditions for this fish. Let's talk about African catfish meat. You probably know very well what is the European catfish, river catfish. Probably you have tried their meat many times. Let me tell you right away, the meat of African catfish has an absolutely different taste. African catfish meat doesn't have the smell that you might feel when eating European river catfish meat. Rather, the meat is probably more like chicken, though everyone who has tried African catfish claims differently. So it's better that you try this meat yourself in order to decide what it tastes like. By the way, be sure to write in the comments if you have already tried African catfish. Be sure to share how it tastes to you. And also check out the videos on our channel, which are dedicated to the topic of what and how affects the taste and smell of fish farmed in RAS. African catfish, broodstock and fry. It's such an interesting fish that just a year after you've put it into a fish holding tank as a fry, it's already matured broodstock. That's why if your farm is not very small and you work or want to work on a more industrial scale, definitely think about your own incubation. Because a year after you launch your farm, you can obtain your own broodstock fertilize the eggs, place them into incubators and get your own fry so that you don't need to buy it. First of all, it saves money. Secondly, you will be sure of its quality. <music> Grow out African catfish weight and sales. First, it's important to know that the minimum grow-out weight starts from 1 kilogram, in certain cases 700 grams. But the optimum weight when you can release it for sale is 1.5 to 2 kilograms. And that is the weight which this fish reaches in 5 to 6 months. And by the way, be sure to keep African catfish in clean water without feeding for a few days, so that its meat loses possible flavor or aftertaste, and so that your fish gets an absolutely ecological and high-quality product. In this video, I analyzed African catfish, the special aspects of its farming, which make its farming especially interesting. And now, all over the world, there are more and more entrepreneurs who are focused on growing this interesting and even wonderful fish. It was Anton Pelcher. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, the channel about how to farm fish and earn good money from it.